Alright guys, so today we're going to go over electrostatic interactions. And so the main concept that I want to really emphasize over here is the fact that opposites attract. This is pretty much the big idea of all electrostatic interactions. And so this is particularly evident within the interaction between protons and electrons. So obviously, within the structure of an atom, we can see protons and neutrons in the nucleus, and then the surrounding electron cloud. So the reason why the electrons in the cloud really stay close to the atom is because of the opposite charges between the positive nucleus and the electrons themselves. So that's why electrons in outer shells actually do not tend to stray away from the atom because of this electrostatic force of attraction. Another main concept within the realm of electrostatic interactions is electronegativity. And this is basically a measure of how much something can attract electrons. A super common example of an electronegative element would be oxygen. And you can see it in an H2O molecule. When the electrons are being shared between the two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom, the electrons actually tend to stay closer to the oxygen atom for most of the time because of oxygen's high electronegativity. So because it's attracting the electrons over to itself, it gains a more negative or partial negative charge on this side of the um, H2O molecule, and there's actually more positive charges on the hydrogen sides of the water molecule. Now in physics class, you'll get a lot of examples of rubbing two different objects together, whether they're charged or neutral, and seeing the interactions between them. And so this is basically an electron transfer. When you rub something against something else, the electrons gain kinetic energy and thus transfer from one object to another. So let's take an example of a plastic rod and a piece of felt. So rubbing the felt onto the rod will actually transfer the electrons in a way so that one of them becomes more positively charged and one of them becomes more negatively charged because of the electron transfer. If one item is losing electrons, then it becomes more positive, and the other one obviously becomes more negative. So you might actually see a slight attraction between the two charged objects if you hold them close to each other because of the opposite charges attracting each other. And then there's also the concept of conduction. So conduction is basically when you touch a charged object to a neutral object, it'll try to achieve equilibrium by spreading half of its charge to the neutral object. So let's say if I had an object with a charge of plus 4, and we had a neutral object, so the charge was 0, then equilibrium would look something like positive 2, positive 2. So each object has a charge of positive 2. 